Hi everyone, this is Trixie Pumara Siciliano, Digital Sales Manager for the Plant Product Line. I am going to show you how to create an animation of the scenarios in FAST when running CFD calculations. So before I will run my model in CFD, I will first make a note of the temporary files folder as this will be where my screenshots will be saved. To find the temporary files folder location, I will go to the file tab on the ribbon bar and click preferences. And in here, you will find a temporary files location. This will be kept as a default unless you have manually changed this location, which you can by clicking these three dots on the right hand side. So now I am going to start my CFD run by clicking on the jet fire scenario and hit run CFD from the ribbon bar. A new window will open. I will only select one weather condition and hit finish. As soon as the run starts, left click anywhere in the 3D results viewer to ensure that the viewer is the active window. And then press shift and M on the keyboard to start saving the screenshots for each time step. These screenshots will automatically be stored in the temporary files folder. Now that my model has finished running, to view the screenshots, open a new file explorer window and follow the temporary files folder path. Once I'm in the temporary files folder, I will open the associated results folder. The screenshots at each time step can be found within this folder with the image named based on the corresponding time step, as you can see here. It is possible to stitch all the screenshots together to create a video. And I will show you an example of how to do this using the free Photos app on Windows operating system. And once it opens, I select the Video Editor on top and then select New Video Project. I then specify my video name and hit OK. Now, I am going to add all the photos I want to combine by selecting Add and clicking from this PC. I then return to the results temporary folder, click on the first image, click shift on your keyboard and click the last image. This will then select all the images that you have. Hit open. The screenshots for all time steps now appear on the project library workspace. We now need to add all the images onto the storyboard. And to do that, I need to select all the images by clicking Ctrl and A on the keyboard and click Place in the storyboard. All images should now be added onto the storyboard. By default, each photo has a duration of 3 seconds. I will set this to 0.1 per image to shorten the duration of each image. To change the duration, I will select all photos by selecting the first image and then Ctrl A on the keyboard, click the duration and change it to 0 0.1, click enter on the keyboard. Now the video is ready. You can play the video and save it. Go to finish video and export. Save it anywhere you want and hit export. Thank you and we hope you learned something new from this video.